Hello and welcome to another update video about Chainlink. Um, Chainlink I'm quite pleased with because Chainlink did already reach my target area here. Um, this target area is located between the 88.7% FIP level and the 78.6% FIP level. So that is roughly here between $6.50 and $11.30. Yeah, so if I zoom in, in this current correction in this wave C, um, Chainlink did touch it. We saw a strong reaction to the target area, which is positive. Based on that, we could say the low was already in. But on the other hand, um, I told you as well in the last video that um, even we could say the low was already in. You can't really say it until you see a confirmation of a breakout to the upside, something like a higher high, a higher low. And we can't see it at the moment. You know, I would love to get above that high as at least here at around $19. Um, so Chainlink is still far away from that, but it's important to understand that Chainlink has done what it needs to do to complete the correction based on the, well, uh, the, the, the you know the, the rules of the Elliott wave method here. Now, what do we see imminently on the chart? We see a strong reaction. We can see that from the low when it touched my target area where I had a buy order placed to the peak there, it made 39%. Now it obviously dropped again still 20% in profit. I'm not gonna sell anything yet. You know, I'm, I'm gonna wait for the 10X, which is coming for not only Chainlink, but for many other cryptos. Um, of course, nothing is ever guaranteed. The whole crypto market could go down to zero, but if the market survives, which I think it will be, I'm sure you will think that as well, then we're gonna see a 10X here for Chainlink. Looking at what the price is doing now here on the daily chart, maybe let's go to the to the one hour chart. You actually can see a, um, a broadening a descend, a broadening ascending wedge pattern now, a broadening ascending wedge pattern is rather a bearish pattern, would suggest further price drops here. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see actually on the one hour chart, but there you go, you can see it. Um, lower support line going up, um, resistance line going up even stronger. This is a broadening ascending wedge. Yeah, pretty much bearish as the ascending wedge would be as well. And therefore I do expect also price drops here, similar to what happens for Bitcoin. Um, and yeah, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. We, we said in the last video that until we see here significant upside movement, we have to assume that we're coming down once more. And that for me doesn't look bullish at all what the price has been doing here. Um, it has come down just too much. Yeah, even if I, I, I couldn't count anymore, really anything bullish here. Um, you know, f f I think we said in the last video when it, it wasn't looking too bad, you know, you could maybe count this as a wave one, two, but now you're stuck already because it's coming down too far. So yeah, you, you could maybe count this as a wave one, then an A, B, C. So this was the wave two. Now you could start your wave three, but it's it's not looking great. I'll tell you that from a structural point of view, it's not looking great. So I would rather expect here that we come and see than touch that target area once more at around uh, $11.30 and maybe even come down a little bit lower. But bear in mind, we are here finding support on this ascending trend line of a descending trend line, sorry, you can see that on this descending wedge in which the price is currently moving. So we've got this descending wedge, which is overall a bullish pattern. So high level bullish pattern, which is powerful, which is good. We are in this here. So we could maybe, this could help us to, to stay above it, um, but get deeper into the target area over the next few weeks, yeah. Um, and after that is completed, I am talking about at least a, yeah, I, I would expect for chain link a uh, hundred dollar chain link. Yeah, that is based on the Fibonacci extensions, which means that we can reach at least the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level. And that would take us to $100. But that is the absolute minimum, the absolute minimum, okay, for the next wave up. And it's not a long term target. It's only like the medium term after the um, correction is finished. So can we expect further downside moves? Well, we can see here, and we also talked about that important support line in the previous video. This $13.50, $13.60 support level here, this red line, can you see that horizontal support line? The price has been above that, has been holding above it for now. Um, but at the moment, again, we, we're not seeing a strong reaction to that support level. Why is that support level so important? It is that previous wave A low from July 21. Um, we have already come below it. That's why I like the chart. I'd be prepared to say, right, the correction is over, but to, to do that, we need to see first 
um, a completion of the correction, which means we need the confirmation of a breakout to the upside. We don't see it yet. We're still below the 50 day moving average, which is coming down here. Yeah, um, we are still below the 200 day moving average. And probably also if I put on the four hour chart here, the EMA ribbon, I wouldn't be surprised to see. Yeah, we've fallen back below the EMA ribbon, giving us a short signal here again. Um, there you go. You can see that here fallen below the EMA ribbon, the exponential moving averages. You will probably also be below them on the eight hour chart. There you go. You just drop below it. And this means if you're below them, they will provide resistance instead of support. <clears throat> and if you're below them on the four and the eight hour, you will also be below them on the daily chart. So at least I would want to see them cross on the daily to be able to, to, to be more confident about a um, potential breakout here to the upside. Now we're not there yet. So um, yeah, so far it's all playing out. You know, we've been talking about this price area where we are now since um, end of November. A lot of criticism there was um, about we're never going to see these prices, especially here in this move up where I remained bearish. But even here I gave you targets for um, <clears throat> where we could reach the price. Didn't quite get there, I think. I think I, I would love, I would have loved to see here a $30. Didn't see the 30, but again, you know, we're coming down now and it's playing out so far. And this descending wedge gives, gives me hope as well. I mean, it's a bullish pattern. So if you break out here, the target would normally be the beginning of the web, uh, the web, the beginning of the wedge. So the immediate target, that would be the short term target. And that would be here at around 38 uh, US dollar. So that doesn't sound bad, but I think we are here due for a little bit further downside. And I have to expect that as we have not seen a turnaround, we're still below the EMA ribbon. Um, of course, if things change, I will let you know. And um, if I zoom out the VPVR as well, yeah, it gives us a bit of support here at the current level. You can see that peak here at around 1250. So pretty much where we are now in that area, there's a bit of a cluster of support, historical volume. Um, yeah, and that's, I think, what we need to see. So yeah, that's my view here on um, Chainlink. Quick update. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. And as always, if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership where you can get access to the Discord server with my own buy and sell orders, research um, stuff, links, all sorts of different content, plus chat rooms, then also the Telegram live chat, which is really, really great uh, on a day to day basis uh, with a great community. And also you can join the weekly live stream, ask questions, do all sorts of things. And the weekly live stream happens tomorrow um, at five o'clock UK time. Plus, if you're interested in stocks and shares, then uh, you can join the gold membership that gives you all the other access plus access to stocks and shares analysis on Discord. We've analyzed so far Microsoft, Procter & Gamble, the S&P 500. Um, I'm probably going to add gold as well. Uh, I'm going to add some more tech stocks. We've got um, Palantir already done there, PayPal. Yeah, lots of stuff. Yeah, and 3M, I think. So I'm growing that as well. And all of these are analyzed and published there when I think they show a potential good entry point. Yeah, for um, going into or going out of certain stocks. Bear in mind, this is never financial advice. It's only based on my analysis and only my own view. But yeah, many people found it quite helpful, I think, already. All right, so hopefully you liked the update. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.